H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Okay. Um, hello all. Today we're going to get um, how to install the Eclipse and integrate with Selenium. What are the things that's required for you to run the first uh, the Selenium test from Eclipse? So we're going to look at that part and then continue on this. Um, Video lectures, we're going to look at how you can integrate the Selenium test with Jenkins, how you can run, and then do the analysis part. So we're going to look at a um, couple of frameworks like the JUnit framework and the test ng framework. So what those frameworks are. So that's the focus on these lectures. Um, part of is the dev apps. I know like um, we there's a lot of buzz happening on this uh, dev apps development and operations, uh, what it is and what is the tester role uh, going forward, how the testing responsibilities are, what are the roles and responsibilities that you're going to play in a typical development environment, and what is required for you to survive in this queer market. So those are the things that you're going to look at, uh, continue on this um, my video lectures. But today we're going to look at uh, part of this dev apps, um, um, the lecture series. We're going to look at first um, how we're going to install the Eclipse and what are the prerequisites, the library files, the jars that is needed. So, okay, so let's uh, begin with the uh, first download. Um, so, the step one that involves First, you have to download the Eclipse. Okay, so let me show you how you can do that. So you can open any of these browsers and go to just um, go to Google it and Eclipse download. Okay, just Google for Eclipse download, and so you'll get this page like the Eclipse downloads, Eclipse basically like an editor where you can uh, write all your Selenium tests. Um, so this is the latest question is that you can go ahead uh, install this um, download 64 bit or depends on what your operating system is. Um, so you'll get uh, other versions as well from this. Um, okay. So like uh, if it is like 32 bit or 64 bit depends. So you can go ahead and install the latest versions, or you can look for more downloads um, from the download page. Let me look at. So if you click on that, um, you see like you will get uh, here different versions, 32-bit uh, and 64-bit versions. So it depends. Like if it is like your operating system is. 32 bit, you are going to get download this this version and 64 bit um, the other version you are going to download. And so once it's downloaded, it's roughly around uh, okay. So I think it's very quick. Um, so once it downloads, then you're going to open this file and run it. So that it's going to um, say so it's asking like something like say Java 1.7. So maybe just you can go ahead and install it and you can come back and then install this Java 1.7.0, what is needed for you to run this Eclipse. That part we're going to look at later and then say, let's go ahead and install it so that you're going to, um, let's click it's asking, um, yeah, so Java 1.5, 7.0, you can also download some on some machines like it's a specific. So whether you may encounter or you may not, um, ask that particular Java version. So, 
So basically, you can also download the Java SDK. What is needed? Um, it's looking for basically the latest version. Sometimes, so go ahead and uh, download uh, the Java SDK. Uh, it's basically to install the JDK version uh, once for all because we are going to use this JDK even to run the Maven projects going forward and execute from Jenkins. Okay, so we are going to build now that uh, source code using that. So go to this uh, JDK, like say oracle.com, and so here you will get um, the JDK version, right? So you can either you can download this, uh, or you can go with the other versions. So this is the latest version anyway, and creating the um, so you're going to accept this licensing version and download. Um, okay, so let's see. Because the, um, this is the latest version, JDK 8, uh, sorry, JDK 9. And so you can also go with um, JDK 8 version if needed. Um, I would like to go with um, JDK 8. Okay, so this is on the latest step. Let's go with, um, like you can scroll down, JDK 8. Okay. Um, Let's see how the JDK 9 is going to work because it's the very latest version. Hope like we have that compatible team. Okay, so basically, like, so the one that uh, I'm running on 32 version, just for like here to be um, a bit uh, specific, like we are saying, that version is not compatible. So that's what like, I'm waiting, I'm looking for the other versions here. Um, I'll just simply dedicate. So this one, uh, I'd like to go with. And here, like, see, I get um, different versions. Like, this is the 32 bit version. And so, accept this and then download 32 bit version. Then open. Okay, all right, very good. We are going to run. Okay, so we're starting. So just pretty quick, right? it's a straight over, straightforward. 
except uh, for the things that you see on the wizard. Popalak is not going to take much. Um, and in the meantime, like what is needed for um, for our um, Selenium stuff, like we're going to look at that part too. So I'll go to, again, Google for it and download the, the library files, what's needed, um, all these required jobs for us to write the Selenium test. So go to the Selenium downloads. Okay, so this left should be like the download Selenium. You know, like um, at high level, like Selenium is also the functional automation testing tool um, for web, web application automation. So it comes with different uh, the languages. Um, we can go with uh, Java, C, C Sharp, Ruby, Python, and JavaScript. So in our session, like we're going to work with um, the Java stuff, like we're going to download the Java version. And also, like you're going to require uh, all these drivers because part of this web application testing, you're going to test with uh, multiple browsers, part of this compatibility testing. So that's where they are going to download um, the standalone server. And then um, just download this. And also, like you can download um, again this uh, Internet Explorer ID driver. It's trying to download. I think. Uh, okay, so now let's go ahead and make this one. So it's installing Java. And here, this, the other things, um, let's put this down there, it's taking long. So probably like the other way, like the Java is also installing. Um, it is downloading the step. That's where it's not responding. Okay, so we're good. Um, so now it's not reading all those drivers, it seems. Like. Okay, so IA driver is downloaded and Selenium standard server is downloaded. And then um, the other things that you need is uh, the Mozilla Gecko driver. So 
go to the download section. So this is the one. Okay, so all right, so I think um, it, it says that the Java JDK is installed successfully. And close this window. So let's try to download the uh, driver. this Maybe I might have clicked the wrong link, so this is not um, popping. Okay, so now because we already installed the um, um, this um, JDK version, now go and look at. Let's try to even you know, worry about um, pointing to that JDK. Let's you can. What we can do is let's try to install it one more time so it automatically detect where that JDK is installed. So these are the downloads. So I go with the uh, Eclipse version again. Just install it. Okay, in the meantime, like go to this just showing folder. So these are these different uh, drivers and the stuff that it gets installed. I mean, let's get downloaded. Um, go to the JDK version, Eclipse, Chrome. Look at these things. Okay. All right. So you see now. It automatically points to the JDK, so now we don't have to worry about. So that's why just make sure like the JDK is installed, and then you can go with uh, the first thing like Eclipse ID for Java developers and install. So accept. So that is going to install. Okay, let's uh, go back and uh, search for um, the other things. Okay, so we got the JDK. And go to the Selenium again. Get this signed. And we got the uh, downloads. Then here, like we got um, the Selenium standard server. We downloaded it and we got this. Um, let me see. We got the uh, IE driver. Okay, and that's downloaded. Again. 32 bit or 60 bit, and we also got the Java bindings. And then the next thing we we'll look at um, the other drivers like the Chrome and Firefox, Mozilla drivers. So, and then so go to this uh, get code driver and then download. And then so here, like you're going to just um, use this download zip file. That is going to download that. Okay. 
So I go to the SwiftDriver protocol. Okay, so basically, like, see, I'm clicking this link. I thought like I'm clicking the right link, but this is the link. Like, this is the link. Uh, so you have to go with. That's why right. I wonder like why it's not showing. Okay, so here we go, and so you're going to download um, because, like, you know, if you if you're doing this Firefox, the latest versions, like, obviously, you're going to download um, this driver that's needed for you to run the the test, like, against um, the Selenium. Just scroll down to the bottom of this page, and then so you get um, so again, so Gecko driver. Um, this is the one that you're going to download. So that um, it's going to download that page. Okay. And then go back again. Then, so you need uh, the Chrome driver. Just download. Again, what's the version? Uh, I think these, to start with, uh, they are the things that's needed. But you do even don't worry about the edge and all these browsers so far. But to start with, we're going to work with this. But even you can also test with the other the, the mobile devices that stuff. You need uh, these drivers. Okay, so let's look at uh, now. The Eclipse is installed, and you're going to launch it. So now we're going to just uh, create uh, a workspace, like where you're going to create all your different projects. So maybe let's, it's better to have a workspace there to see that instead of pointing to the default. You can always browse, then go to your C line, then create a folder, something um, you mentioned, just the workspace. Uh, something like the web test, okay. And so, so this workspace and hit OK. So that like all your projects get created into this workspace and launch it. Okay, I think uh, we got uh, all these drivers downloaded into this downloads folder. Okay. Yep. So we got the Chrome. I get code drivers and the stuff. So I will just not take point. Uh, yes, okay. So now the Eclipse is launched and you start with um, just this and we like the basic the welcome page for this. And so this is the ID, the environment, um, the Eclipse editor, how it looks. Okay, so let's um, Start with first creating a project, right? Say new Java project. Okay, just you can mention uh, the project name. Let's say uh, okay. So I'm going to create the project name. So then say. Selenium demo. Okay. And then just that's it. Like we're going to finish. 
So it is going to create a, a project with this uh, folders. Now I'm going to create um, different subfolders like in, in this uh, environment that we call them as different packages, which are nothing but um, like it's going to create the folders. So I'm going to create a new package under the project. Um, you can create your package name and let's say it's a first test. Okay. So it creates the package and then going to create a class under this package. So the package is um, something. The first test I'm going to do is a open application. Okay, just the simple test. The open application access all the defaults. Probably like we're going to explore these options later. Just we're going to create a vanilla flavor of the test right now and finish. So then it creates a Java a class file. Okay, and here like here we go. Like now we are ready to write a write your test right and before that like you have to the associate first what are the required job files to this um, to do your project then only the editor is able to recognize okay this is a selenium test okay. so go to right click on the project go to this properties then go to the java build path and select um, the libraries and go ahead and add external jobs and uh, okay so before that uh, whenever you just download it right so the other different files like we download it um either you can copy all this stuff because it's not better to access from the downloads folder because sometimes like you might delete them so what you can do is create a folder like this here uh, say a new folder and um selenium and let's say info or something. Okay. Just create a folder and then paste it. All those libraries. So that you're going to keep all your um, selenium test artifacts into one folder. And then, all right, so once it's copied, so you're going to associate our selenium folder. Okay, so we're good. So now we've got all these folders. Uh, go to this uh, because some of these uh, library files are already deep. So you're going to extract the files. So extract. All right, so it's copied. Now um, this was like the extraction folders. So now we're going to associate, right? Say we've got. Um, okay, so let's go to that particular folder. See, uh, see the name info. And so this is the folder that, that contains all this uh, leaf folder. And so these are the external job files. Like you're going to associate to the project. 
and that you're going to associate uh, the other jobs from this as well for this other job. And also you're going to associate the standalone server. Okay. And then say apply and close. So that you got uh, all those files you see associated. So now you're going to go to launch your test, right? So let's write some basic tests. So public uh, say why so this is all like the JavaScript like what uh, we're doing uh, programming. So now I'm going to write say the test name the launch launcher. Okay, so then the select you're going to um, write uh, the functions. Okay, and then so once you're done with this, um, now you're going to write. Um, all right, so pretty good. So this is the test, like what um, going to write. Basically, let's see. Um, once you create. Um, Okay, so we talk about this one. So, so once we create uh, the the method that, that contains the basic test, like public void and launch up, and then so here I'm going to mention uh, the driver name, like what are the browser, like let's say Chrome, Firefox, or Safari, what are different browsers you're going to point to that uh, driver, and whenever that driver is installed, you're going to refer to the location. So in our case, like say we downloaded that. Um, at this location so and then basically you will get uh, some zip file so you're going to extend that zip file so that you'll get that driver so i'm going to mention the path to this um, the location of the driver then see you mentioned like say here the driver is uh, you're creating an instance of that uh, chrome driver and then there's the driver object contains the methods like the get method and you're going to mention here what that uh, URL. So you're going to open. Um, and then finally, you're going to close the browser instance. So, and also here, we're not just using this uh, web driver instance, right? When I create this object, see what's happening here. You see, there are um, some errors, right? And then the moment you place your mouse over, then it's going to give you the options. That's just straightforward. Like, can you not worry about, okay, how to resolve these things? The editor will give you options like how to resolve this problem. Then you're going to hit this so that that error will go away. Same with the case here. First, like you're going to use asking. So you have to import the related packages from the same name. So that the stuff is gone. And now your test is ready to execute. But if you right click and then say run as, so you don't see anything like uh, whether you want to run um, what type of test it is. So first, we're going to start with, uh, say, JNU test line. So that's where like, I'm going to do with the uh, JNU framework. So for that, uh, so you're going to use these annotations. Like, say, you're going to recognize this as a, a test, right? So this is the test I want to run. But here, like, see, so it's saying, like, OK, uh, let's get this uh, the annotation is not recognized. Um, you have to do this uh, JNU. So you have to select this option. And now your test is recognized. Again, if you run, so now it says, OK, this is a genuine test. And if you run it, so that, um, OK, so this is just you want to run. And so it starts executing, and because it's a Chrome driver, it's going to open an instance in the Chrome. And it opens that browser. So that the test is passed. So that we're going to mention, but maybe just in the later part of the session, we're going to discuss about how you can open it uh, multiple instances of this um, browser. And then um, the next thing is um, JNIT is one framework, and the next one is the test engine framework. Right? Test engine is another framework. It's more robust in terms of the execution. You can better control the test execution, what test you want to run, and also you can generate nice support. So you have to do that. Um, so you're going to use here a kind of uh, JNIT, right? Say, so for example, I'm going to comment this, right? So the JNIT stuff. Instead, uh, I want to use uh, the test engine. Okay, so for that, you're going to again associate the test engine framework to your project. So how? So basically, like what you have to do is again go to the browser and 
google.com and then search for um, test engine. Test engine for Eclipse. Okay, just uh, go here and then say so install this plugin. Okay, go to the Eclipse marketplace. Okay, so all you have to do is just uh, drag and drop this icon to your project. So that's simple. I like it. So drag and drop this button to, okay, maybe just if you open your project, right, that doesn't be really more clear. So this is your project. Just all you have to do is just drag and drop to your first place. So that you get, you see now, this is displaying like test engine for Eclipse. So you're going to install this piece. Okay, and then so you're going to confirm this installation. Okay, accept, finish. So now, um, see now it's um, starting installing the software. So once it's done, so now you can you could run the same test as the test engine. Shoot. Okay, I think um, it's almost close. Okay, just you get some options like install anyway. Okay, so it's done. Now you have to restart your Eclipse. Save it. Okay, so start your project. And so now, when you do this uh, most over again, so now it's asking, hey, you want to run as a genuine test or you want to run as a test engine? If you want to run as a test engine, all you have to do is um, add this test engine weapon. Okay, so if you do that, then you see like the test engine, the chance that required the job files. Now, again, mouse over. Okay, and now so you're going to import this uh, test engine related annotations. Right? You're going to add the first library and then down import this test engine annotations. So that's it. Now, if you right click and then say run ads, right? And now you see the option like test engine. Okay, it all depends. Like if you want to run as a JNA test, this is needed. If you want to run as a test engine, you need this one. So, test engine test. Hit OK. Okay, so that's it. So, your test is executed. Uh, so now, when you go back and look at uh, the folder, right? Let's see how this stuff is created. Like, so we created a workspace like web test and Selenium demo, and there's a test output folder, right? This is where the um, actual the test engine is going to create this test output folder, and this where like, you will get your the test report. So you can always customize this test report. So email will report, right? Select like this. And it's going to say, okay, uh, what are the tests that is executed? And uh, say launch up is the test. And where is the same password time? Okay, um, so that is uh, the test engine step. Like, basically like here that you're getting the overall picture like with different frameworks and with different tests. And next thing is that how you're going to run the same test from Jenkins, right? Jenkins is a continuous integration tool 
and we're going to discuss that part um, in our next uh, lecture. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.